Well, friends, God bless you. Bang, bang. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, live from Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona area. How are you doing, my friends? My goodness, listen, we have been on the move. The Lord has truly been on the move. It's good to see you, friends. Comment below where you are watching from. And I want you to tag somebody, share this on your wall, give it some hearts and likes, because this is going to be a very exciting and important word that I'm going to release over this month of July. Amen. Truly, there's going to be fireworks. There's going to be a lot of fire. There's also going to be glory. Amen. But in this month of July, I want to talk to you about what you can expect from the Lord. What I believe God is releasing and doing on the earth. Remember, the Bible says that God does nothing on the earth unless he first reveals it to his prophets. So, yes, we have God's written word. But out of relationship with the Holy Ghost, the Lord begins to speak to us intimately about intel and information, revelation of what we can expect. Amen. I want to say July will be my month of great recompense. Somebody shout hallelujah. Well, people of God, comment below where you're watching from. Uh, share this on your wall. It's one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Like I said, we're here in Arizona. And last night we had a wonderful event here in Phoenix with our good friend Steve Swanson, worship leader, artist, musician, extraordinaire, so powerful. Many lives were touched, healed, changed last night. Amen. I think we had seven or eight salvations last night. And I want to give you this glory report, my friends. Amen. In the last 28 days since we started Route 66 Revival, 10 revivals in America for the last 28 days, I believe we have 205 salvations and 47 water baptisms. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Amen. So we're believing that in the next few days, as we finish off this Route 66 revival, we're going to see even more souls saved, even more give their life to Jesus. Amen. And just more power, miracle signs, and wonders. Somebody say hallelujah. Well, comment below where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out and say hello. Glory to God. Amen. Esther says on YouTube, hello from Alhambra. Well, we're going to be in Alhambra this Saturday. We hope to see you. Kelly from Raleigh, North Carolina. Angela from Pondell. Mason from Missouri. Crystal from the Berg, PA, bless you. Amen, Crystal. Teresa Vamer, Hershey, I got PA strong in the house. Glory, amen, Houston, Texas. Arthur Parker. Glory be to God. Guyana, South America, beautiful. Hi there, Marissa, bless you. Let me say hello to our friends on Facebook. Hey, Becky Weaver, bless you. Jay Carlos, Mary Longoria, New Mexico. Thank you, Relina Rascon, for being a subscriber. Dee Dee, bless you. Miss you, sis. Marilyn, Jay Carlos, Brody. Michael, good to see you, Michael and Deborah. <laughs> TC, Shara Brakata. Sahel Bonotra, Michelle Hardy, Jay Carlos. Have I ever met you in person, Jay Carlos? You live in my city, bro. Alice Erasmus, amen. Astar Tahir, Mary Kate. Wow, some names I've never seen before. I believe Air Terrace, good to see you. Bill, good to see you, Pastor Bill. You are a gem of gems. Amen, South African house. I love my South Africa family. It's a mobile Alabama, Cynthia Hill Bryant. Watching from the UAE, Vicky, God bless you. I might go to Dubai and South Africa in the month of October. So let's see. Scottsdale, just down the street from me. Hartford, Connecticut. South Africa, good to see South Africa. Oakwood, Georgia, Reno, Nevada. Yuma, Arizona, down the street from me. I'm currently here in Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona. So, hallelujah. Well, friends, continue to build up the room and the algorithm. 
Amen. Because July is going to be a very important month. Now, let me ask you, have you been going through some shaking? Have you been going through some shifting? Well, this month of July is going to be a great month of the changing of the guards. I want to say changing of the guards. This month of July, your life is going to change. And I know if you follow me, if you follow this broadcast, you probably hear me say that a lot. Friends, I don't take it lightly. I do not say that lightly. I mean that with all my heart. In the spirit, a true transfiguration has taken place. Amen. So this month, there is a changing of the guards. And we are going to step into, hear me now, three weeks of renewal. Three weeks of renewal. Shika. So if I could title today's broadcast, or really the main word, uh, the main word, prophetic word for this month, for July, it would be two things. It would be either, number one, the changing of the guards, or it would be, number two, three weeks of renewal. So I want to say three weeks of renewal. Amen. And now we're going to get into this in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, first and foremost, friends, I am here in Phoenix, Arizona. So tonight is my last night here in Phoenix with Steve Swanson. So if you're in the area, please come and join us. Or you can watch online. Can I get an amen? It's going to be very powerful. And then this Friday, we are in Santa Monica Pier, Los Angeles. Guys, we are going to go off with a big bang in Los Angeles. Route 66 Revival starts in Chicago and it ends in Santa Monica Pier. So myself, Jake Hampton, Chad Denman, Natasha Hen. This is going to be powerful from 6 to 8.30. Don't miss it, friends. It's going to be so powerful. That's Friday, Saturday. We're going to be in Alhambra, Pasadena, California. Then Sunday, we're going to finish the whole one-month tour at my church, Open Heavens World, Orange County, California, with Jake Hamilton. So get the word out. I hope to see you, friends, in Jesus' name. And all of God's people say amen. So let's go into this prophetic word of the month. If you're with me today, say amen. And praise God, let's continue to build up the room and the algorithm. I'm very excited to release this word. But I believe we are in three weeks of renewal. This month of July, everything is going to change in your life. If you're with me today, say amen. Now, this is a very crucial month. First and foremost, I want to say this. Number one, we are three months away from Rosh Hashanah. All right? We have July, August, September. We're three months away from Rosh Hashanah, the new Hebrew year, 5784. So you are going to be hearing more from me concerning the new Hebrew year, 5784, what the Lord is saying, speaking for the new Hebrew year, and as well, I'm going to give you some insight for 2024. Amen. And I want you to remember where you are hearing these things first, all right, from Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, because a lot of people say a lot of things Afterwards, but I want you to remember this day that in the next two months, I'm going to start prophesying about 5784 and even about 2024. And most likely, as it usually is by the grace of God, it is before other prophetic voices many times do. So be on the lookout for that. But number one, we're three months away from Rosh Hashanah, the new Hebrew year. So we are in a crucial Build up time. I want to say build up. Number two, this month in the Hebrew is called Tammuz. All right. In the Hebrew calendar, it's called Tammuz. And we're going to go deeper into that. But in this month of Tammuz, there's something called the three weeks of destruction, or otherwise known as the three weeks of mourning. And what is mourning? It's, it's sorrow. Fasting, sadness, weeping, crying out to God, destruction. So the three most devastating, uh, three most devastating weeks begin to take place in this month of July. Well, who here knows that for the believer, Shakara, for the believer, it's not devastating, but it is an encouragement because that just means God's about to do something better. Can I get an amen? So in this month, we are 
in the Hebrew month of Tammuz, which has the three weeks of destruction or the three weeks of mourning. And in this broadcast today, I'm going to give you prophetic points, prayer points for you to not only be aware spiritually so that you can be on guard, but so that you can gain the reward of the opposite spirit in the Lord Jesus. All right. If you're following me, just nod your head. Yes. The same. Thanks for all the hearts and lights. And then number three, the third thing you can expect. All right. Or the third thing I want to say right now is that this is a month of completion. This is a month of completion. So you're going to be hearing me talk more about this as this teaching goes on. But we're three months away. Hear me now. Three months away from Rosh Hashanah. The new Hebrew year, number one. Number two, we're stepping into three weeks of destruction, three weeks of mourning, three weeks of exposure and shaking, which I'm going to talk about more. And in number three, we are stepping into a completion and a renewal of something. So if you're ready to hear this and receive this word today, I want to say amen. Glory be to God. Well, Lord, thank you for all that you're about to say and do. Let your grace be upon us and speak through your servant today in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. Praise God. So first and foremost, let's go over to our key verse today. Let's go over to our key verse. Okay, we're going to go over to Exodus 32, 19. Exodus 32, 19. And if you happen to be here with me today, I want to say amen. I can feel the urgency in, in the spirit realm right now. As I'm releasing this, I can feel the prophetic warning and urgency of the Lord. Because this month, there's a number of things we need to pray for and pray against, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. But uh, Exodus 32, verse 19, as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burned hot. And he threw, say threw, the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. So literally, there's a day called the 17th of Tammuz. Okay, 17 Tammuz. We know in the Hebrew calendar, we are in the month called Tammuz. But the 17th of Tammuz is actually July 6th, Thursday. So... This is the day where Moses came down and he threw the tablets. He threw the tablets. He saw the golden calf. He saw the worship of idols. He saw the prostrating, the prostitution of God's people. And Moses burned in righteous anger. So therefore, he threw the tablets. There's going to be a throwdown and a showdown. That's going to happen this month. In this month of July, some high places are going to be brought low and brought down. Even as Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the glory of God. Remember, we just finished celebrating Pentecost, Shavuot. So here's Moses on top of Mount Sinai, Pentecost glory, bing, 40 days and nights. He's in the glory. He's shining, beaming, bright with the glory of God. And he receives the Ten Commandments, receives the Ten tablets, receives the law, the word of God, and here he is, he's coming down, and as he comes down, he sees his people committing adultery and falling away. And what does he do? Out of anger, because remember, Moses is still a man, all right. Out of anger, he throws the tablets, and it's destroyed. Now, I want you to catch the severity of this, because I believe in this month of July, we are going to see some things thrown and broken and destroyed. In this month of July, there is a throwdown and a showdown anointing. In this month of July, we are going to see even the golden calf being destroyed. And isn't it interesting that the Hebrew month of Tammuz coincides with June and July? Are you hearing me? Because Tammuz has already started, and we're still in the month of June right now. Currently, it's June 28th. But June, where's the celebration of pride and, and a gay parade and all of this atrocity, 
pedophilia and the indoctrination of perversion of our children. But the golden calves are falling down. And here Moses, out of anger, he throws a tablet. Some say preach, Dr. Ben. Now, what happens? As Moses preaches or, or throws the tablet, this opens up a window. I want you to think about this. It opens up a window or a cycle of repetition. It opens up a realm in the spirit where every year around this time, the same type of evil, grotesque, judgment, terrorist attacks, destruction, it continues to happen because of this open door, because of this open window. So I'm saying, amen. Now, open doors and open windows are so important, and we don't understand why cycles continue to happen, but Jesus is going to break the cycle. Jesus is going to start a new cycle. Can I get an amen? Jesus is the cycle breaker. He is the yoke breaker. Jesus is the God who begins a new pattern in your life. If you're with me today, someone say amen. So in this season, there is an open or a realm that's open called the three weeks of mourning. The three weeks of destruction. Why? Because in this month, in this season, the anger of Moses, the breaking of the tablets, the holy word of God, and then number three, the prostitution of the golden calf. This opened up the door for destruction against Israel, amongst the people of God. But I need you to hear this. For those who are in Jesus, this is not a season of destruction. It's a season of revival. Come on, somebody. For those who are in the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, this is not a season of an open door of attack. This is a season of renewal. This is a three-week window of renewal. That's why I said one of the prophetic words that I would title this is the three weeks of renewal because everything is changing. There is a changing of the guard taking place. Don't say amen. So in this window, in this season of time, we also understand that the walls of Jerusalem were breached. Okay, now what is a breach? A breach is a trespass, a breach of trust, a breach in the spirit. That word breach means to override or overreach. Who here knows that the Bible says when the hand is overreached, they will have to pay back sevenfold. So there is a breach in the spirit and a breach of the walls. So here's Moses, thousands of years ago, boom, that opened up the door. And then in the same time frame, many years later, hear me now, the walls of Jerusalem are destroyed and ransacked. If you're with me today, say amen. Here's another verse, 2 Kings 25, verse 4. 2 Kings 25, verse 4. Then the city wall was broken through. And the whole army fled at night through the gate between the two walls near the king's garden, though the Babylonians were surrounding the city. All right. So in the same time, I want to say that in the same time, same window. All right. Now, hear me now. Different year, same time. Different daddy, different baby mama, different father, but same scenario. You keep changing lovers, you keep changing relationships, but you continue to have the same issue that follows. Are right, you hearing me? So different year, but same scenario. And this destruction continues to follow the Israelites. And here in 2 Kings 25, 4, it says that the walls were destroyed. Now, in this month of July, you need to hear me now prophetically. In this month of July, I believe there is... Uh, a breach of the spirit that the enemy is going to try. The enemy is going to try to breach things in the spirit. What do walls stand for? Walls stand for protection. It stands for authority. 
it stands for being on guard. Walls stand for as well boundary lines or division lines. But you see, walls are not a bad thing. They're also a good thing. Can I get an amen? That's why the Bible says that he calls his walls praise in the book of Revelation. The walls of Jerusalem will be called praise. So walls are not a bad thing. But you see, when the walls are breached, now the enemy can infiltrate. And that's what happened. So the 17th of Tammuz, which is July 6th, it begins the three-week window of destruction and judgment and exposure. Come on, somebody. All the way up to Tishba Av, which is the next Hebrew month, Av, or the ninth of Av. Three weeks of mourning. Three weeks of destruction. Three weeks of exposure. Three weeks of shaking in the name of Jesus. But for the believer, hear me now, it's going to be three weeks of renewal. Three weeks of joy. Three weeks of advancement. It's going to be three weeks of revival. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. So this was an open door. Now, friends, I believe God, hear me now, is about to close some doors in your life. Jesus is about to break some cycles in your life. You've been struggling financially, maybe in your health, maybe with your purity, in relationships. People are slandering about you. God, there is a breakthrough coming. And the walls, the wrong walls, are about to fall and come crumbling down. Amen. The wrong walls, the demonic walls of bondage, addiction, slavery, of witchcraft, the demonic walls are going to come crumbling down in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Glory be to God. So this week, or this month, excuse me, July, it is a month of completion. Of course, July is the seventh month in the Gregorian calendar. Seven means completion and finishing. So God is finishing a cycle. God is completing a season. Come on, hear me now. I'm prophesying to you, Dolores. God is completing a cycle, a season. God is finishing a realm. And there is a changing of the guards that's taken place. He who has ears here, let him hear. For if you hear the word of the Lord, you are about to advance in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you're receiving today, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes in this Holy Ghost place. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, this is, once again, for the unbeliever, it is severe. It is fearful and dreadful. But for the believer, this is an opportunity for change and for renewal. Amen. So hear me now. These are not my three points, but I want to share this here. The open door of Moses, it opened up the door continually in history for destruction. But hear me now. Your destruction will turn to change. The three weeks of mourning will be three weeks of joy and celebration. Come on, somebody. And your three weeks of sadness will become three weeks of your heart coming alive. The Lord says, be aware of breaches and breaches in the spirit. Be aware of the enemy trying to destroy the walls of discernment. Be aware, come on, someone say preach, Dr. Ben. Be aware of the enemy trying to destroy and infiltrate and invade. Why? Because when walls come down, it means you're vulnerable. It means you feel exposed. It means you're open. And so the Lord is saying, be on guard this month. Because as things are shifting in the spirit and things are moving up and down, be on guard this month. Amen. Be in the spirit. Be watchful and pray for betrayals. 
for backstabbings, for people to try to take advantage of you, because there is exposure coming this month in Jesus' name. All of God's people say amen. Now, before I give you the three prophetic points for this month, I felt a very strong urgency. All right, we need to pray for these things. All right, I felt a very strong urgency that we need to pray for the continent of Europe. We need to pray for Europe, my friends. I felt in the spirit so strong this month, even as this month, Tammuz, July, the walls of Jerusalem were breached and broken and fell and the people were invaded. And it's known as the three weeks of mourning, literally the worst and most devastating three weeks of the whole year for the Jewish people. But I feel that we need to pray for Europe. Because I saw in the realm of the spirit a shaking in Europe. And the Lord even said, pray against attacks and terrorist attacks in Europe. And as well, I saw very clear the United Kingdom. I believe we need to pray for the UK, my friends. Specifically this month of July, we need to pray peace protection for the United Kingdom. Shoo. Wow, in Jesus' mighty name. Another thing I saw was, and I see it now, wow, is cyclones, storms, hurricanes, and floods. For I just saw in the realm of the spirit the ocean waters beginning to rage and roar. Wow. Pray against tsunamis. My goodness. Thank you, Father. In this month of July specifically, pray against storms, hurricanes, and tsunamis. Amen. Specifically in the Florida waters, like the Gulf waters region, and as well the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, and the Florida waters. I believe we need to pray, especially for like the Caribbean, Florida, that ocean, those regions there. And then the third thing the Lord showed me that we need to pray for this month, specifically for July, we need to pray for Israel, okay? There's constantly attacks, bombings, missile bombings against and in Israel. But we need to pray for Israel. I believe this month, as historically, these are the three weeks of mourning the lowest, most destructive, heinous, sorrowful, shameful weeks, time frame of all of Israel's history. We need to pray for Israel. We need to pray for Israel. And I believe there's going to be a returning of souls. I believe many Jews are going to put their faith in Yeshua HaMashiach this month. There's something about, hear me now. The Bible says godly sorrow leads you to repentance. So there's something about sorrow and suffering that leads you to the cross, that leads you to revelation. Someone say amen. I want all of you on YouTube to comment amen. And I want all of you on Facebook here to comment amen. So these are certain things we need to pray for in this month of July and Tammuz. If you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Praise God. Now, I want to give you three prophetic points. My goodness. Three prophetic points that I believe is going to take place in this month of July of Tammuz. The changing of the guard. Here's three prophetic points I believe is going to happen. Listen, what I did I historically, biblically laid things out, and then I gave you Hebraic revelation. And from there, I'm giving you prophetic insight and intel of what I believe we need to pray for and into and against and expect in this month. 
Are you with me? So there is an opening, my friends. There's an opening. There's a breach, a vulnerability. There's an opening. My goodness. Not everybody who's around you is for you. Not everybody who says they're your friend has good intentions. Amen. But number one, I saw exposure coming. Exposure. As the walls fell, as Moses threw down and destroyed the tablets, as there was anger, prostitution of the golden calf, as the walls were breached and the people were vandalized and violated, this to me is exposure. So I believe this month there's an exposure coming and happening. And remember, friends, exposure is not just about exposing the evil or corruption in government or in the church world. Exposure is also revealing who you are, what's on the inside, what you carry, what you have. Exposure is exposing fake friends, frenemies, exposing the goodness, the glory of God. So in this month of July, there's going to be an exposure, a shaking, a revealing. Come on, somebody. Do you know why? Because number two, this is a month of completion. It's a month of completion. So I believe this month, God is going to complete some things. And hear me now. Even in the United States, as we have Independence Day, the 4th of July, let freedom ring from tyranny, from government control, overreach. I believe in this month, we are going to see a finishing, a completion of something in the United States government. And we're going to see a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't say amen. So number one, exposure. Exposure in the month of July. Number two, there's going to be a finishing and a completion. My goodness. I want you to hear this because I'm getting this download from the Lord. If you're with me today, say amen. The walls of Jerusalem were destroyed. It's because God has intentions of rebuilding something better. Hear me now. Some of us, we are holding on to the old for too long. And God says, do you not know I have planned for something better? Though it's hurtful and hard and difficult, I have something better for you. Amen. Some will say better. Something better is coming for you, church. Something better, something more glorious, something more strong, something more elegant, eloquent, something more extravagant is coming for you in Jesus' name. So as there's exposure, there is going to be a finishing and a completion in the mighty name of Jesus. And then number three, the third thing I believe you can expect to take place in this month, it is revival and renewal. Now, isn't it just like God? Because we are in an upside down, right side up, opposite of the world kingdom. When it's supposed to be three weeks of destruction and mourning for the believer, it's three weeks of revival and renewal. Are you ready for everything to be renewed in your life? Uh, someone said, preach, Dr. Ben, I felt the fire go. Are you ready for new friends, new vision, new ministry partnerships, new fire, new revelation, new books, new business ideas? Are you ready? Come on. You went through hell and back, so get ready for revival and for a renewal. Get ready for new in the name of Jesus. The walls were destroyed. You felt violated. You felt like things were coming against you. But 
God says, I'm not done with you yet. I'm not finished with you. I just finished something of the past. And now I am renewing and reviving something fresh and brand new on the inside of you. Can I get an amen? There is a renewal and there is a revival that's coming to your life. Come on, I prophesy three weeks of revival, three weeks of renewal. God is going to give you fresh vision. God is giving you fresh insight. Listen, some of you, you feel, all right, Lord, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Listen, for us, we're just about to finish literally one month, 10 cities of 10 revivals in America. Hallelujah. And now I'm going to go into some rest and prayer and rejuvenation, a finishing to receive the new and the renewal. Amen. So God is saying, get ready for the renewal, for I am doing a new thing for the old has passed and the new has come. Do not perceive it, for it springs up in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a fire of renewal. There is a revival that's coming in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz the seventh month of the Gregorian calendar, hallelujah, and Tammuz would stand for three weeks of mourning, but for the believer, it's three weeks of revival. Somebody shout revival. I want you to shout revive in me a new heart. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. Jesus is doing it this month. There is a finishing child, a completion foot, and there is a renewal in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you receive the same amen, glory be to God. We're stepping into three weeks of the lowest point of Israel's history. But your lowest point will become your highest point in Jesus' name. Are you hearing me today, friends? I need you to receive this word of the Lord. Your lowest point will become your highest point in Jesus' name. Come on, I want you to begin to pray a lot of the Holy Ghost. I, I see new scrolls. I see new destiny scrolls. I see new keys, new houses, new cars. I see new mantles, new books, new ideas, new business ideas, new relationships, new vision, new vigor, new strength. In the name of Jesus. Rebe, come on. I want you to lift up your hands. Begin to pray in the Holy Spirit right now. Rebe, sha. Rebe, si, taramata. Rebe, si. Some people say it's time to mourn and cry and weep and sorrow. And it's time to fast and it's time to be sad and sorry. But Jesus says it's time to be revived. It's time to get into glory. It's time to set your faces to him like flints. And for you to not budge until you see the fire of God fall. Fire of the Holy Ghost. We prophesy the fire of God in the United States. We prophesy over Europe, over UK. Be well. Be blessed. Right now, I just saw this. Wow. I just saw in the realm of the Spirit. There is a new protective guard it's a mantle, but it's also like a ring of angels. Hear me now, because there's always angels associated with mantles. But I saw in the realm of the spirit, God is beginning to encamp his angels, encircle his angels around you. Hallelujah. And the Lord is releasing a new covering, a fresh ring of fire around you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, I'm protected. Somebody say, I'm guarded. You're actually coming out of the old, like the cocoon, and you're sprouting and spreading your wings. Thank you, Jesus. It's a new mantle. It's a new grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to lift up your hands. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Spirit right now. Rebe seta. Mara, come on, give some hearts and lights. If you receive it today, say, I receive it. Rebe rabo shatarababa. Rebe setarabata. Listen, some of you, you're going you're gonna to see this exposure. My goodness, are you ready for this, friends? Listen, some of you this month, 
that Judas Jezebel wolf in sheep's clothing, that liar, pants on fire, is something's going to be exposed this month. Thank you, Lord. This is the month where the true intentions of man's heart will be revealed. Do you know why? Because it's not when times are good, but it's when times are hard that a true person is revealed. So this month, there's going to be an exposure and there's going to be a revelation, a revealing. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. In fact, some of you watching, you've been praying, crying out for wisdom, for confirmation. Thank you, Lord. If that's you, say amen. Lord, I thank you that you're bringing the cycle to a close. You are bringing that pattern to an end. You are the cycle breaker. You are the pattern interrupt, disruptor. And I thank you that you are ending the cycle, finishing, completing, child, and you're bringing us into something new. If you receive that, I want you to say amen. Come on, continue to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want to pray for some of you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Rebe Seta, Marabosha. Thank you, Father. I see you here on YouTube, my friend. Andrea Flores Viano. Lift up your hands, Andrea Flores Viano, on YouTube. For I see the Lord lifting you, encouraging you. And even as I'm saying your name, I hear you saying this to yourself, speaking this to yourself. You're saying, I never get picked. Nobody ever chooses me. Wow, Dr. Ben is choosing me. He's called. Listen, sister, that's a lie. The Lord always chooses you. Jesus always picks you. Jesus. He wants to let you know that he loves you. He loves you very much. Thank you, Father. You are not alone, dear sister. You're not alone. Jesus. We have Indonesia watching. Margaret K. in YouTube. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say fire. Harabashata. Jesus, Jesus, the open door, the open door vulnerability for attack and invasion will become an open door for change and advancement. Somebody shout hallelujah. My goodness. Listen, if you receive today, I want to say amen. Vero Velasquez here on Facebook. Lift up your hands, sister, for your family and I. I hear the Lord saying, the thing that is trying to destroy your family, that thing will be destroyed. And whatever attack of communication is taking place between you and your husband, your man, the Lord is dealing with it now. So I saw the spirit attacking your family and home. But Jesus is going to bless you and protect you, cover you. And I see that cycle being destroyed, that addiction being destroyed in Jesus' name. God bless you, sister. If you receive that, say amen. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Teresa Cintron here in Facebook. Teresa Cintron. Lift up your hand, sister. I hear the Lord saying you are at a crossroads. And you're asking God, should I go left, should I go right? It's even concerning your destiny, your business, your J-O-B, your job. Do I do this? Do I do that? And the Lord says, do what's best for you and what's in your heart. Because you're trying to make this decision. Thinking about other people thinking about others, but the Lord says, think about yourself for once. Think about yourself for once. And I believe the Lord is giving you the permission, amen, to dream again, to live again, to be joyous again. You might say, Dr. Ben, 
how can I jo be joyous again or live again when my finances or my life situation is, is all not there right now? Well, if you don't celebrate now, how can you celebrate tomorrow? If you don't take time to thank God today, how can you take time tomorrow? Now is the moment. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. So step into that, my friend, and watch God begin to move upon your life in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Now, friends, I want you to lift up your hands one more time in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I want you to lift up your hands and I want you to repeat this prayer after me saying in Jesus name I receive the power of God in my life I declare this month July and Tammuz will be three weeks of renewal and revival and it will be a finishing and a completion of the old in the name of Jesus, if you receive that, I want you to say amen. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. My goodness, friends, I feel the fire of God. Jesus. Jesus. You know, it's because I've been in revival fire. Like, really. And even last night, the prophetic was so sharp and spot on. I have not moved in the prophetic like I did last night, probably this whole month. In this whole month, that evangelistic breaker anointing gift has been in operation. But last night, I, I went deep in the prophetic. So I feel very wrecked right now. Amen. But listen, people of God, if you're blessed today, I want you to say amen. Listen, in this moment, I want you to sow a seed. If you receive from the man of God, if you receive the word of the Lord today, amen, concerning all the richness and the vastness of what you can expect this month of July. I want you to say amen. And as you sow, I want you to comment three weeks of revival, okay? Comment three weeks of revival. I, I really believe that, three weeks of revival. All right, so as you sow, as you feel led to bless the Lord and bless his ministry, bless the work of his hands, I want you to comment three weeks of revival, amen? And uh, here we are, we're putting up the graphic for you to give. We're putting up the, the link for you to sow. We're pinning it to the top. Praise God. But I want you to sow generously. Amen. Sow generously. Because, again, this is a season where a lot of things are falling and breaking. And the walls are being breached. But for you, there's going to be extra fortification and extra protection. And build up in Jesus' name. Amen. So as you sow, I want you to comment three weeks of revival. So that I can come in agreement with your seed, with your prayer, with your life and family in Jesus' name. Melissa, bless you. Joseph Tong, bless you. Elaine, bless you and miss you so much. Hallelujah. Rebe Shete. Hallelujah, DC, bless you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Continue to sow and bless the Lord in this place. Sharababaratata. DD, bless you. Prosperity, more bless you. Vanessa de Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Agnes, bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, who here knows that what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it and use it for good. Chew, Jesus, mighty name. Marabatsata. How much should we sow? Whatever you feel led to, my, my dear friend. Mason Alexander on YouTube, bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Weaver. Bless you. Chanel Jackson, bless you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Marilyn, bless you. 
Salon Gale. Amen. Thank you, Keith Walker. Bless you. Friends, don't miss this opportunity. All right, I'm going to give you about another 40 seconds or so. Glory to God. Don't miss this opportunity. Nora, thank you on YouTube. Esther 414, bless you. Candace Fagan, bless you. Amen. Thank you, Nora. Shut that out of that. Riddle, Maritha, amen. It's good to see you yesterday, Carrie. Bless you. Providence Ivana, bless you. Providence Alana, bless you. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Sherry, bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Margaret K, bless you on YouTube. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If I be a man of God, let every word that is spoken today, let it be true and let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yolanda, bless you. Someone say amen. Darlinda Hightower, bless you on YouTube. Facebook fam, say hello to your YouTube fam. And YouTube fam, say hello to your Facebook fam. Amen. Well, thank you everybody for sowing. I pray the Lord releases a great return over your life. My goodness. CC, bless you. My goodness. It's going to be such an epic month. It's going to be such an awesome month, my friends. Awesome. Now, listen, friends. My goodness. Listen, real quick. I want to share some announcements before we close today. Amen. Glory be to now. Once again, today I'm in Phoenix with Steve Swanson. Come and see us, guys. Shoo! I love Brother Steve. Me and Steve Swanson tonight in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you, Masa, for sewing. Lorena for sewing. Leticia for sewing. Amen on YouTube. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, Phoenix, Arizona, myself, you uh Steve Swanson. And then Friday, say Friday, guys. This is a very big event for us. Santa Monica Pier. Santa Monica Pier. We have myself, Natasha Hand, Jake Hamilton, Chad Denmond, 6 to 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard. We're going to be at the pier, y'all. Historic pier in Los Angeles in Santa Monica. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be glorious. So keep us in prayer for that. Amen. And then, um, let's see. Prosperity more, thank you for sewing. And then on Friday, or Saturday, we're going to be in Alhambra, Pasadena. Then Sunday, back at Orange County, my church. Open Heaven's World with my friend, Jake Hamilton. Amen. It's going to be awesome, my friends. So it's going to be a long, big week, weekend for us. Keep me and us in prayer. As we finish off Route 66 Revival with a big bang. Amen. Now, friends, I am also going to Hawaii in the month of July. Myself, Charlie, and Brent Shap and Steve Swanson. You look like you need a vacation in the greater glory of Oahu. That's how you say it, Prophet Ivana. Oahu. All right. So I hope to see you all. Thank you, Relina Roscoe, for sewing. And I hope to see you all. Do I come to Washington? I haven't been to Washington in years. So no invitation, no, no real connection there. So friends, come and see us in Hawaii. As well, I have an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. 7M Glory Equip. 
Uh, I love to mentor. I love to connect with you, pour into you. And this group is filled with world changers. Uh, if you join my group, number one, we have at least two Zooms a month, two private Zooms a month, where I get to share my heart, pour into you, share the word of the Lord. Number two, you join a private group on Telegram. So you join a community of other like-minded saints, believers. And then number three, you get greater proximity and impartation from me. There is a small fee, a monthly uh, subscription fee every month, but I would love to mentor you, pour into you, walk with you, and get to know you more personally. Listen, friends, if you need breakthrough, if you need breakthrough, mentorship is one of the best ways to break through to the next level. Amen? Well, people of God, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I love you. Bless you. Shalom, shalom. Consider following me, giving this page a like, subscribe, share, follow. Follow me on other platforms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and here on Facebook. I want to say love you. Shaka Baba, July Tammuz is going to be a month of going higher like never before. Amen. God bless you, friends. See you soon. Shalom.